Hi foodies, this is Jenny here from Jenny's Walk. Let's make a lovely curry duck trini style here. Great for a river lime or a Sunday I lunch. Trini curry duck here. I have some black mustard seed, one cardamom that I want to pop a little bit so that flavors could come out in that vegetable oil, and some cumin seed. So what I want to add to this is some curry leaf. Drop that in there to get some lovely flavors. And here is my onions and dried chilies, chili pepper. And some so this looks fine foodie so now i want to add in some riri peppers and here is that lovely duck and goat curry powder this is from that beautiful island of trinidad and tobago so i'm going to just infuse all this lovely flavors back into it it's all roasted already so i have some chili chili powder and i have here some turmeric so in goes that now let me add my green seasoning this is the green seasoning and some pepper seasoning and let's give that a good mix. I have some cherry tomato. If you wish to add cherry tomato, that's fine. If you don't like it, not a problem. So let's give this a good mix on medium low heat and let everything dissolve really nicely and thaw out. Okay, let's take a look now. So all we see now is a lot of oil floating at the top. There's no burning up of our spices because it's already toasted to perfection and put in that package. What we're doing is just waking it up. So with the liquid from the tomato and that frozen seasoning, we got a nice little liquid in there that fry that curry to perfection. So now what we want to do, I'm going to be adding a little bit of salt. And you clearly see there's lots of oil in there. So here is my duck that I have. I wash and seasoned and had it marinated overnight. Lots of flavors in there. So now let's give this a good mix and coat all these pieces with that lovely goat and duck curry powder from that beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. This is well coated so what I want to do here I have some fine thyme I'm going to nestle that right in there put that lid on leave it on medium low heat for like 15 okay, so minutes. So let's take a look now wow that's a lot of anger in there so let's lower the heat a little bit now and get in there there you go so you see lots of water this duck let its own water out so we have to boil this fresh water off so let's leave it open now just give it a good mix and get all those herbs and stuff incorporated really well with the meat so this looks great now foodies all you see there is some oil so now let's add boiling water to continue the process of cooking give this a good mix put the lid on i'm going to open back this pot in let's 20 minutes now wow that's a lot of anger in there and foodies i forgot to mention my bay leaf Break that bay leaf in two and drop it in. So we halfway there. This looks good and I taste it for salt. Everything is perfect. So let this continue cooking until it's all done. Just have like 10 more minutes and we'll be done with this lovely curry duck here from Jenny's Walk. Leave me a comment where you're viewing in from. Like and share and invite your friends to join Jenny's Walk where all the flavors is coming out look from. now. Wow. This looks great. And you see foodies, all you see in there now is oil. So this is done. This is done. So I'm going to turn this heat off and I know this is very soft. And I'm going to take all those branches and twigs out from there. So what we want to do, leave this alone. Do not disturb this. And at this point, you're just going to sprinkle a little bit of cumin powder. This is cumin powder with cinnamon and some clove. And this is going to infuse this meat very lovely. Do not open the pot for 10 minutes. And your duck is all done. So there you go, foodies. That lovely curry duck marinated overnight and cooked with those lovely masala, that, that goat and duck curry from that beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago with all its rich flavors. True Trini this year for that river lime that beach lime, or just your friends coming over for a lovely Sunday dinner. How about that? With some dal puri, some dal and rice. Pairs well with this curry duck. So my dear foodies, let me try this duck. I can't wait. I love duck. Duck is one of my favorite, favorite meat. Let me see if I can get a small one. Oh, there we go. That's a nice piece of breast over there. Let me try that. It's still very hot. Oh, wow. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So soft, falling off the bone, and I'm getting all those flavors running through my mouth. I'm getting cumin. I'm getting some cardamom also in there, and that jeera. 
really lovely tasty I'm getting divine and you know I'll be using my fingers to eat dal and rice and curry dal. so divine this year from Jenny's walk simple instructions don't forget to like and share invite your friends to follow into Jenny's walk where beautiful flavors are coming out from let me know where you're joining in from and leave me a comment curry duck here Trini style from Jenny's walk enjoy <music>